Welcome back to the Crochet Cradles with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. We're working on the Crochet Sampler Blues Afghan. Yes, we are now on part number two as we experiment with the horizontal ridge pattern. So if you're just joining us for the first time we are working through this pattern and each one of the sections has its own video. So we're now on video number two. So moving on to video number two with the horizontal ridge pattern we're gonna be creating this ridge. It's almost like an eye relief. There's not too much of it here. It's just to give a separation in between sections and so we're gonna start off and do rows number one and then two and it says repeat the row uh, two twice more. That's it. So you're looking at about four rows for this particular section. So that's not bad eh? So we also have a, a description here sorry a sorry a diagram of where you should be sticking your hook which I'll show you that in just a moment and we're gonna be keeping our eyes out for that as well. So let's begin uh, the horizontal ridge pattern number so right now we should be looking at the right side of the project. So the ridges that we have are facing up and it also said that on their first row is right side. So when we finished the last section we finished going across the wrong side and so when we're ready to go right side. Okay let's begin row number one and let's start with those instructions. As we begin row number one if you're doing the color changing this is uh, you will have changed the ball if you're doing that. I'm just gonna keep running the colors uh, from the ball itself. So we're going to chain two. Remember that does not count as anything and we're gonna half double crochet starting in the very first stitch and in each stitch all the way across. So half double crochet in each stitch going all the way across and this is row number one. So I'm coming up all the way across and we are just going to half double crochet in the final one. So remember that chain two that was in there because we'd done the half double crochet before. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch and you can see that it lines up nicely. Let's turn and work and begin row number two which is gonna be repeated twice more after we do it the first time. We're going to be doing what is called as a half double crochet in the horizontal bar. So let's uh, just zoom you in here and let's just chain two so it doesn't count as anything and we're gonna have double crochet starting in the horizontal bar going all the way across. So I'm zooming you in so that you can see where the horizontal bar is. So if you're looking here is the horizontal bar. So if you turn this over you'll see the tops of the stitches. Do you see that? So there's the top of the stitches but this is the horizontal bar right here. So you can see that all the way across. So that's what we're gonna do and it's gonna create a knitting look on the other side. So starting in the first horizontal bar you're just gonna half double crochet into the first one because that chain two does not count as a stitch and so then you'll grab the next one it's nice and easy. This is also called the camel um, stitch as well. So once you keep doing that look what happens on the other side it turns it into a knitting look. So I want you to horizontal use the horizontal bar and half double crochet yourself all the way across. I'll see you at the end of the row. This is row number two. So I'm coming up to the end of row number two and I'm still doing the horizontal bar. Once you start doing the horizontal bar you'll notice that it naturally the next one just naturally wants to be right in front of you and the tops of the stitches are bending over and to the other side. So you're gonna go into the very last horizontal bar that you have going here. Sorry you got a half double crochet and then that's it. So now you're gonna turn your work. See the difference? So now you're gonna repeat rows number two twice more. So to remember is chain two and because you were half double crocheting the horizontal bar is there. So that horizontal bar is not there for every stitch that you ever have. It, it, it exists when there's um, half double crochet. So on the horizontal bar continue to half double crochet across. This is row number three and then do it one more time and this will conclude off today's section. So I'll see you at the end of that. So you're repeating rows number two a total of this time and one more and then that's it for today. Okay so I just repeated the last uh, row number two. I did it two more times so we did one two and then we did two two. So a total of four rows. So I'm now ready to move on to the next part and the next video and this will then complete. So it's just a little small section just to create a little barrier in between this section and the next. Let's uh, now move on in the next video and I'll see you then at that time. We'll see ya.